So, anyway. I really don't know why I feel the need to tell this story. I feel like, uh, talking about it for a while now, but... I guess I was saving it for a time I was really bored, not tired yet. And I had nothing else better to do at the time than to shoot a video. So, stories back when I was back in, uh... When I was back in high school, back in like 11th grade, I think. Yeah, I should have been 11th grade. I remember I had this teacher. Like, I took like, there was some, one of the classes I had, like some computer class, AutoCAD class. You like, you learn how to do, uh, learn how to like do design, what is it? Like, blueprints and stuff for construction. That was a really cool thing. I wish I would have like got more into it. Could have like actual, made an actual job of it. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so I remember one time. Oh, this, this story has nothing to do with the class. I'm just like, setting the back story here. I was like, in my 11th grade history class, it's like 5th period after lunch, it's always uh, always in 5th period, right? And I'm sitting there in class, and this guy's class is like on the other side of the same building, and there's like this door that led between the class I was in and the class on the other side. It was like one big building, and I don't know if a lot of people would come in through there. And the other class was like kind of on the other side. There's no way from that, from getting in there, in there unless he went around into this door, right? So he comes in. Like, one day he comes in. I'm just sitting there. I was like, I guess we're all supposed to be sitting there, like, you know, doing whatever in class, reading books or some shit. I don't remember. I didn't really pay much attention to what I was doing in high school. So we're all sitting there, and I guess the guy, this teacher, who, by the way, was, like, a big fat guy, so. I mean, he was a cool guy, and everything, but he was, like, a, a fat guy, right? Big fat guy, whatever. He used to be like, he was like, back in high school, he was a jock, he was like that big football star, I guess. A lot of them seem to term the fat guy, I don't know why. <laughs> I can't explain it, I'm not a scientist or a doctor. So, like, I guess at one point, the guy comes in the classroom and he's talking to my teacher or whatever, you know. They're having their own conversation. Everybody else, like, in the class is like, oh, bullshit. And I'm sitting there minding my own business. I'm not doing shit. I'm just, like, reading the book. I forgot what I was doing. I was doing something. All of a sudden, fucking douchebag from across the room fucking speed addict motherfucker who by the way like always had a nerve to call me a crack addict I mean you know I've never done crack before so he's like always like call me a fucking crack addict and shit everybody everybody in high school like they were all like doing drugs and getting drunk and I was a crack addict I mean seriously no matter how bad the shit they did they're all talking about oh dude I'm, they're like, I'm gonna go after school and smoke weed and I'm gonna get drunk and I'm gonna get shit Nick's a crack addict. I mean, I was a fucking crack addict. They are all doing, like, the worst shit ever they, that they can get their hands on at the time. Yeah, somehow, I'm the evil crack addict that nobody likes because apparently I'm a crack addict. You know, I'm, I was, like, kind of like the guy who didn't talk to anybody. Because, like, around, uh, like, 11th grade, I stopped giving a shit. I mean, the first two years, I was, like, trying to be like that. Oh, I want to do the whole high school experience. Yeah, oh, I want to do this and everything. And when I eventually realized that it sucked... And I was like, you know, fuck this shit. I'm just going to ride this shit out till I'm done. Then I'm going to go on and do whatever. Which is where I am now. But anyway, I'm sidetracking here. So the teacher comes in. Like I said, the fucking douchebag from across the room. Who I think ended up joining like the Marines or something. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, great. Thanks a lot. <laughs> so, like, the guys... And all of a sudden, this guy is like, Hey, Nick, is that your dad? Really? This is your fucking insult. I mean, I'm sitting there minding my own business. I'm not paying attention to whatever the fuck you're doing. And everybody else in the classroom is like fucking bullshitting, and telling jokes, and dry humping each other. Yes, dry humping each other. This happens a lot. This happened a lot in my high school. I mean, like everybody being feeling each other, filling each other up in the back of them or some shit like that. And I was like, <laughs> all right, kind of jealous because I didn't get to take a part in that, but whatever. So you know, the guy's like, hey, Nick, is that your dad? I was just looking at the guy like, what the fuck? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get your reasoning here. Because he, he's a fat guy that somehow is going to be embarrassing that that's my dad? I mean, I, I, don't get what, I don't get what you're doing here. So, I always wondered that. <laughs> and for some reason, I was thinking about it a couple days ago. And I'm thinking like, what? I don't... You, you're trying to insult me, right? I mean, the big fat guy comes in the room. I don't think he knew he's a teacher there. I mean, this, like, uh, again, fucking speed freak. He was a speed freak. He was, like, doing speed, and everybody saw him doing speed. He was, like, bragging about how he did speed. 
And he, he, he said, always bragged about how he would do speed and fuck his girlfriend for like two hours. <laughs> or some shit like that. And like, <laughs> so he sees the fat guy and thinks, oh, well, I'm gonna just out of nowhere. And saw the guy here was like, hey, Nick, is that your dad? So yeah, I was like, I was like, I just looked at him like, and I, I, I was like, what the fuck? I don't, what did they say to that? I mean, seriously, but like, I just looked at him, went about my business, like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what he was trying to do at that point. I don't know if he was trying to insult me. I don't know what he was going for there. I think a few other people kind of saw it and laughed, like, oh, yeah, he, he, because you know how they are in high school. They're fucking retarded. And I'm pretty sure it's gotten worse. <laughs> he said a joke. He, he said, he said that that guy, is boys and girls, <laughs> he, it's, it's funny because the guy's fat. He's a big fat guy, so he must be Nick's dad because, yeah, that's an insult. <laughs> Fuck you. So, just a, a little story from the past. And I, I don't know what to say about that, so. If any of you are in high school right now, and some fucking douchebag from across the room who you know is a fucking drug addict, and brags about it, and decides to make some insult, and says, hey, because he sees some fat guy, or maybe some guy that doesn't meet the standards of attractiveness <laughs> at, at the time, and he just says, hey, is that your dad? Just look at him. Just look at him. And here's your comeback. Like, no, fucker. That's your fat fucking drug ass in 20 years. And then, you know, prepare to defend yourself because fucking crack ass get really sensitive when you call them drug addicts. I don't know why. <laughs> Alright, see you later.